The Cobra Effect refers to a story of a British overlord in colonial India who thought there were too many cobras in Delhi. He offered a cash bounty for every cobra skin. The incentive worked a little too well. It gave rise to an industry of cobra farming. Indians started raising cobras to kill and collect the bounty. So the bounty was rescinded, and the cobra farmers did the only logical thing and set the cobras free. The same thing happened with feral pigs in Georgia and rats in South Africa and with carbon credits. The UN set up an incentive plan to compensate manufacturers for curtailing pollutants released in the atmosphere. For every ton of carbon dioxide eliminated instead of released, the company would receive one carbon credit that they could sell on the open market. For every ton of the super greenhouse gas HFC 23 destroyed, a company would receive 11,700 credits. So factories churned out extra gas that they could then destroy to collect credits. The average factory earned more than $20 million per year selling carbon credits for HFC 23. Why do some incentives backfire so badly? No individual or government will ever be as smart as all the people out there scheming to beat an incentive plan. It's easy to predict how an incentive would change your behavior. But the people whose behavior you're trying to change often don't think like you. People don't always behave the way they do today. When a rule changes, behavior does too, although not necessarily in the expected direction. So the next time you want to offer an incentive, beware the Cobra Effect.